Good morning, Insomnia Nation. I hope you're doing really, really well despite troubles sleeping. Uh, today we're going to go over an, an exchange of emails between myself and Piorn. Um, it is 21 emails and you will see how uh, she transitions from having you know, insomnia to really a full recovery. Um, and, and, and her journey is, a, you know, she, she didn't have maybe as severe insomnia as many people have and, um, and she recovered pretty, pretty quickly and it was a pretty uh, steady recovery. But you will see that there were times when she was, she had doubts and she had a lot of, she had um, concerns um, that we can learn a lot from. And before we jump into this email exchange, I just want to say um, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who's been commenting on the YouTube YouTube videos. Um, super, super appreciated, and I'm always really happy to see them. I wanted to thank, uh, you know, just to name a few, Ellen, uh, Michelle, uh, Jonathan, uh, Judith, um, Suzanne, uh, and uh, Lexi, and oh, sorry, Pexy, and and everybody else. Uh, sorry if I if I left your name out, but really, really appreciate all the support. I still remember the first ever organic comment. You know, that wasn't from a family member uh, seven months ago. That was Brandon Benoit, and I was super, super excited about that comment. And I'm still really, really psyched every time I see somebody commenting. So thank you so much for that. Now, that said, let's jump into this exchange. So it, it starts January, 7th, uh, January 27th of 2019. Hi, Daniel. First of all, I would like to thank you so, so much for making such an awesome video on YouTube. It's very interesting and helpful for insomnia. I'm 32 years old and from Thailand. I've been suffering from psychophysiologic insomnia for two years. I've been taking all kinds of medicine, most recently uh, Zolpidem tartrate 10 milligrams every now and then. My worry is not so much that insomnia is going to cause health problems, but that my work will be affected if I'm not sleeping well. I've been seeing a sleep physician in Bangkok. He strongly recommended me to try CBT as I have developed both a psychological and physiological dependence on a drug. So here I am. After lots of Googling and YouTubing, I finally found you! Exclamation mark. I've watched all episodes from the beginning and now I'm somewhere around 50. I've tried CBT for a few days along with watching videos. It helps me eliminate the beliefs and misconceptions I have about sleep. Again, thank you so much. I will keep you posted. My reply from the following day, Thursday, uh, February 28th. Hi, Pjorn. Thanks so much for reaching out and for the encouragement. That means a lot. You may hear me say this at some point in videos, but I've gotten in contact with people from the Philippines, UK, Australia, and now Thailand. It's cool how the world is getting smaller and I'm able to hopefully help people sleep all over the globe. Please let me know if you have any questions at any point. For many, the first weeks can be really tough and there are setbacks, but for those that are persistent, really like 80% or more do better. Thanks again and let me know how things go. Uh, an email from Pjorn from Friday, March 1st. Thanks for your reply. Could you please send me the link on the YouTube video explaining uh, bedtime restriction? I heard you mention that, uh, but I couldn't find the link. My reply, same day, Friday, March 1st. Here it is. Uh, this was the second video I uploaded. It goes over bedtime restriction. Then video 14 is a follow-up and episode 21 is another follow-up. Planning to make a playlist of core videos. Oh, oh this is a reply from Pure. Oh, I watched it. I, then I watched everything. Did you mention something about an other guy's video as well? Correct me if I'm wrong. My reply, oh yes, this is a great explainer. This later one is from a Norwegian guy that seems to know his stuff. They seem pretty good. Keep in touch. Uh, Friday, uh, March 1st. Thank you. I will start watching them soon. Now I'm on day six of CBT. Please wish me, wish me luck. We'll keep you posted. My reply, I'm super hopeful you will start sleeping better soon, but patience is key. You should be hopeful to sleep better in the next weeks, two months, but don't expect anything on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, I just thought about something. I should make a video about what to do if you're taking medication when you start CBT. Can I do a video reply to you? Pjorn's reply, still on Friday, March 1st. Yes, actually my sleep physician here allows me to take a medication, Zolpidem, along with CBT if I feel like I really need it. In case uh, of having uh, a work obligation the following day, for example. Are you familiar with this kind of med medication? In parenthesis, Zolpidem. I am now trying very hard not to take those medications at all and I think I'm doing good. After a week of CBT, I sleep better and better. First four nights were hell but I got a full seven hours of sleep straight last two nights. We'll see where this goes. 
Still on March 1st, my reply. Yes, I'm pretty familiar with Zolpidem. A good amount of people swear by it, but then they see me because they still aren't sleeping well. I really think staying off meds like you're doing is super important. I would be much more worried about work obligations uh, for somebody that had taken Zolpidem than somebody who hadn't slept so much. The hyper arousal that causes insomnia has a way of also preventing critical function daytime. Anyways, of course, do what you think is best and I'm very happy to hear that you seem to be responding well to CBTI. Don't be surprised if you have setbacks in the next weeks, sleepless nights. If you do, know that they become less and less common over time. Let me know how things go. I'll email you when I upload a video on medications and CBTI. Pion's reply, this is Sunday, uh, March 10th. So actually uh, about nine days later. Hi there, follow up two weeks of CBTI. I'm doing good. I usually set my alarm at 6.30 or 7 a.m., half hour different, but still works for me. But this Saturday, I thought I could chill out a bit, so I slept in and woke up at 9, said Smiley. I know this is not what I'm supposed to do. So Sunday night, I had no sleep drive at all. I ended up going to bed at 4 a.m. with frustration. My question is, will I be able to sleep in at any occasion? How strict should I be? Thank you. My reply from March 10th. Hi Pjorn, very nice hearing from you and this is a really good question and a valuable observation. I'll post a video reply within the next five hours. We'll email you once it's up. Pjorn, okay, looking forward to it. My reply, March 11th. Hi, sorry, um, Pjorn replying uh, March 11th. Hi, thanks for the reply video, that explains. Well, there are two things you should know. Number one, I'm now on episode 100 without skipping any episodes and I am a she, not a he. We'll stay in touch. My reply, Pjorn, so sorry I get mixed up. I sometimes default to thinking some email me as a guy and it wasn't intention and, and wasn't it International Women's Day? Question mark. We'll do better. <clears throat> I'm super impressed by how you're going through all the videos. You seriously know more about insomnia than most sleep doctors. Do spread the word. Let me know how things go. March 20. Hi, sorry it took me longer than I expected to write you back this email because, but I'm very excited to tell you I've completed all the episodes. Well, you kept posting new ones, haha. You must think I'm insane, but I took it seriously. I think I can now open a sleep center in Bangkok. I'm now on week three of CBTI and doing very well. I think the key is the more you want to sleep, the less sleep you get. So now I'm like, I don't really care much about sleep. I tell myself I will perform just fine with a few hours of sleep, and I think it works. I have a few questions. How long has CBTI existed? It seems to me that only very specialized doctors know about it. How come you want, want to be a sleep physician? I think that's a very rare and super cool. Thanks again, now keep up the work. My reply from March 20th. Hello, nice hearing back from you, especially that you're doing well with CBTI. Really super excited to hear that. I think you're my most dedicated viewer. So happy you've watched and that it's been helpful. I believe 100% that if one can get to a point where you literally don't, don't think or worry about sleep, you're good. I know you say jokingly that you can open a sleep center, but I seriously think you could. And in, why way that's a, in one way, that's a sad thing. I mean that CBT has been around for 30 plus years and it's still very few with insomnia that get, get access to it or even hear about it. I've thought a lot about why, and I think it's because it's a hard sell. A lot of people want a quick fix and also it's hard to sell CBTI uh, as, uh, so it's hard to sell CBTI, so not many are offering it. You know what, during residency, I was having a beer with my friend and he told me there was a fellowship in sleep medicine and I get really interested. Finally, this become a long email smiling. I'm planning to do this series where I go over an entire email conversation so that people can see what the process of using CBTI can be like. I may do one with our correspondence if that's okay. Pjorn, what a quick reply. Well, at least we do know about CBTI here in Thailand. That's the good thing. We actually have a serious consultation session at the hospital uh, I wish, I wish I could attend, but to do my work schedule, I could not. Uh, we'll definitely look back to you, get back to you soon. Let me know how things are going. It's bedtime now. And I support what you're doing. Hi, there, uh, sorry, uh, this is Wednesday, March 27th. Hi there, it's been a month without sleeping pills and CBTI. I'm doing very, very well. Just want to ask you a quick question. How can I prevent from turning a stress anxiety, in, turning stress anxiety into chronic insomnia? as I start to worry about an upcoming difficulty uh, that I have to deal with. Thanks. My reply, March 27th. Hi Bjorn, really happy you're sleeping well without meds. Completely see how you can become stressed when you have a, a, a challenge. I think the key, 
thing, not to develop chronic insomnia, paradoxically, is not to do anything. Hear me out. We all have things that cause stress and poor sleep, but it's when someone starts trying to sleep that things become a problem. When someone goes to bed early, tries to nap, meditate, and becomes really preoccupied with sleep, that's when insomnia happens. Now, I was just reading this book called Bedtime Stories for Insomniacs by Sasha Stevens. She talks a lot about affirmations, affirmations and focusing on the good. She says, a little extreme, but I get her point, that one should become obsessed with the good. Really focus on that. Talk about that. Repeat that you're sleeping well, that you can sleep, etc. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Finally, the night before a big obligation, don't try to go to bed extra early unless you're sleepy, as this will just cause extra tossing, turning, and worse sleep. Hope this helps. With time and experience, I bet you will have less stress and uh, less uh, uh, challenges at work. Now we jump to May 3rd. Hi there. I've been waiting for this for so long. Now I would like to tell you that I've finally cured my insomnia completely. Yay! I have no worries about sleeping, no concerns, nothing. Plus enjoy sleep time more than ever. Thank you, Daniel, for bringing my life back. Keep up the good work. I always support what you do. Thanks, Bjorn. Obviously, I was super, super thrilled. Um, the more I still remember that morning, checking my phone, seeing that email from Bjorn, and it just made me really happy. That was from Friday, May 3rd, and the first one was from uh, end of February. So we have February, March, April. So really about two months from the first uh, email until she was doing really well. And as you can hear, uh, it sounds like Bjorn didn't have like a really severe case of insomnia, but you can still see that, you know, she had to put in work, she had concerns, she she overcame them and, and she did really well in the end. So I hope um, I hope you find found something um, uh, that you could learn from Bjorn's journey. And um, if you have, as always, any questions, problems, concerns, leave a comment or uh, send me an email, daniel at insomniainsight.co. Talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.